Hello, this is Palavin Prepper, and I just thought I would give you an update on our uh, rabbit operation and uh, an old project that I'm working on. And here is our uh, here's our buck, and um, this is now the size of one of our does, and this is our uh, what's about to be a mama doe. And so, if you're going to have a mama doe, she's going to uh, need a place to tend her young and therefore you're going to need a rabbit tender and so that's the project I'm going to be sharing with you today well all other things being equal I would have preferred to use solid wood for uh, for my uh, rabbit tender but this is uh, this is wood I already had on hand and uh, it's just going to have to do and cat's cradle who was, uh, looks forward to the blessed event, um, has taken the initiative to go online and uh, rather than me having to do a lot of measuring, she uh, went ahead and cut out templates. <laughs> she found the design, of the uh, size for, uh, for a rabbit tender, and she just went ahead and cut out the templates for me out of, uh, uh, out of this cardstock, and so I'll just go from there. Well, I'll just go ahead and tell you that uh, there's only one of me here doing this project, and so uh, I can't uh, I can't be shooting a video of the whole process because I can't be uh, handling the camera and running a skill saw and the uh, and the drill and all those sort of things at the same time. So you're going to see this progression in stages. Well, I just wanted to uh, make a couple of observations here uh, as I pause in the project. Um, those of you who are, uh, are better craftsmen than I might say, well, I wouldn't have done it that way. Uh, I would have used uh, better wood or solid wood. And, uh, and a younger man watching this video might say, well, I certainly wouldn't have uh, done it that way. But you know what, I'll tell you. If your wife has interest in a project and has gone to the time and effort to look up the, uh, the dimensions and go so far as to cut out templates for the dimensions of the sides and the top and the back and the front, you use uh, great wisdom and going ahead and using the templates that she has uh, so graciously made for you. So, uh, word to the wise there. Well, after drilling pilot holes, I uh, went ahead and uh, put the screws in, and so we have the, uh, the back and the two sides assembled to this point. I just wanted to mention something here. Uh, at, at this stage, now that I've put the, uh, the front on, um, the sides of these boards that I was using, the sides that were cut where I bought them, I made sure that those edges that I know are perfectly straight, not like the ones that I cut, but the ones that are perfectly straight are on the bottom. So when the time comes that I put the mesh on, I know that those that, uh, these edges that are I know they're absolutely straight because they were they were cut where I bought the wood. Um, those are straight and nice and uh, and aligned. So when I put the mesh on, that's going to fit nicely. Uh, the top, you know, this is not not so great, and there's even a little bit of a misalignment here. But it doesn't matter. It's not going to matter about the top anyway. So uh, we'll go from here.
Well, as you can see, I was able to get uh, a couple of these large staples in here, but the staples really, with this plywood, uh, really does some damage. So I'm just going to put those, the large ones, on the ends, like so. Here and there, you can see there's even a split there. And uh, this over on the side. All right, split there. So what I've done now is is notched out, cut a notch here on, and on each corner. And so now I'm going to uh, take another tactic. So there you have it. There's our finished product, the uh, rabbit nesting box, and it's uh, secured on the ends. Have these major staples here, which apparently were too big, but uh, was able to uh, do the rest here. So uh, I'll see where it's going to fit. Well, as you can imagine, the way these things go. Now that uh, nesting box is too large to fit into the door of this rabbit cage. Uh, but I've been able to uh, loosen the clips here so that I can just open up this entire front and uh, we'll put it in that way. So now I can just put these clips back the way uh, they're supposed to be and that is how our nesting box is going to look inside the uh, rabbit cage and when the time comes when that uh, doe reaches 28 days of gestation we will transfer her into this uh, mama ready cage. Paladin Prepper.